We're going to go through a difficult relative atomic mass question. Let's get into it. A sample of chromium containing the isotopes chromium-50, chromium-52, and chromium-53 has a relative atomic mass of 52.1. So that's the average mass of all the isotopes taking into account the relative abundances. However, they've only told us the relative abundance of the chromium-52. Here we find out the sample contains 86.1% of the chromium-52 isotope. So we only have the abundance of one of them. Calculate the abundance of the other two. All right, let's set this equation out. So if we know total abundance is 100% and we know that 52 is 86.1, then that means that 50 and 53 are equal to 100 minus 86.1. So they are 13.9% is the sum of the abundance of chromium 50 and 53. So let's just pretend that chromium 50 is equal to 10%. That would make chromium 53 3.9. Now we don't know, these are not true these percentages, but I'm just showing you that they we know that they add up to 13.9. That is true. So that means that chromium 50 in this made up situation would be equal to 13.9 minus 3.9. So now we're going to assume that chromium 50 is equal to 13.9 minus x. We could have said Chromium 53 is 13.9 minus X, but I've gone with chromium 50 as it's at the start of my equation. And let's write that up here. So chromium 50 um, times 13.9 minus X plus 52 times 86.1 plus 53 times X over 100. So we've rewritten our equation and we know that 53 will be x. In my little made up one down here, it was 3.9 and chromium 50 would have been 10. So 13.9 minus 3.9. But that's made up. So now we're going to rewrite this equation. Um, getting a bit excited with the spotlight here. Um, and let's see how that's going to work out. So want to rewrite this. What we want to do is times both sides by 100. We get rid of the 100 that's underneath. So multiply both sides of the equal sign by 100. You can rewrite this out. And this is going to be 5,210. We've got no 100 underneath on the left-hand side now. So get rid of that. We times that top one by 100. So what we're going to do here now is multiply out these brackets. So let's multiply the first one. 50 times 13.9, use your calculator, is 695. Um, I don't make that mistake. Make sure you multiply the x as well. I just forgot to multiply the x. So it's minus 50x. Now 52 times 86.1 on your calculator is 4477.2. And 53 times x is just 53x. Brilliant. Now what we need to do, let's cancel those x's. 53x plus minus 50x, we're going to be left with 3x. So running out of room here, we're left with 3x equals 5210. Let's add 695 and 447.2 together. And what we're going to get, I should have typed ages ago. This was so dumb of me to try and handwrite this. Oops. Five. Yeah, 5,172.2. Okay, now what we need to do is 3x equals 37.8 because we divide 3x and we get 12.6. So 12.6%. And that tells me that chromium-53 was 12.6%. Subtract that from 13.9, and we will find that chromium-50 is 1.3%. There you go. And that's how to solve a really difficult relative atomic mass equation. 
Okay, I don't have time. I only started my channel two months ago. So I don't have time to make videos on the entire A-level content for biology and chemistry in time for your summer exams. So what I'm going to do is just select really difficult questions that could come up and stump you in the exam and go through those on YouTube. So subscribe and like. Um, I'm going to be using old past papers, recent past papers to select some difficult questions which are really hard. And even if you look at the mark scheme, you won't find the working out on the mark scheme. So those are what I'm looking to put up for you guys to help you with your revision. So yeah, as I say, like, subscribe, and you'll get notifications uh, with more of these videos if you find them useful. Take care, guys, and good luck with the summer exams. Let's get to the marks.